In this video, we'll show you how to run a Hello World example using the RTI DDS Toolkit for LabVIEW. We'll be creating two VIs in this example, a publisher and a subscriber. To begin, we are going to open LabVIEW and create a new VI. This will be our publisher. We're going to save this VI as Hello World Publisher. For the front panel, we will only be including a stop button to stop execution of the VI while it's running and a string control to choose the actual data to send. So first, let's go ahead and add the string control. And a stop button. Our code will be on the block diagram. If you need information about installing the RTI DDS toolkit for LabVIEW, you can click on the link in the corner or the link in the description. After installing the RTI DDS toolkit for LabVIEW, the palette that contains the VIs can be found in Functions, Data Communication, RTI DDS toolkit. So I'll go ahead and pin. If you cannot find the palette, make sure that you successfully install the toolkit on the version of LabVIEW you are using. The top level toolkit contains three sub palettes, Writer, Reader, and Tools. For this VI, we'll be using the VIs in the Writer palette. Place the Simple Create Writer, Write and Release Writer VIs on the block diagram. Once we have these VIs on the block diagram, place a while loop around the right VI. This will be the continuously running portion of our code. We also need an OR primitive and a wait millisecond primitive for flow control and timing of our loop. Creating constant for the wait millisecond timer of 100 will cause the program to execute the while loop no more than 10 times per second. Wiring the error out of the write and the stop terminal to inputs of the OR primitive and the output of the stop terminal to the stop terminal will allow our program to stop if there's an error or if the user clicks the stop button. At this point, we can connect the toolkit VIs. We are using shift registers for the reference and error wires as best practice. In order to properly configure the symbol writer, we will need three pieces of information. The first is the domain. Which in this case will be zero. The second is the topic name, which will be data. And the third will be the data type to write. For our hello world example, we will use a string. Now we specify the actual data to write by wiring the string terminal to the data input on the write VI.
adding a simple air handler completes the VI. As you can see, running the code at this point does nothing, as there are no subscribers waiting on the data side. Our publisher is screaming into the void. And save our VI. The next step is to create a subscriber. The process is very similar to the creation of the publisher. First, we'll create a new VI. And we're going to save it as Hello World Subscriber. For the front panel of our Publisher VI, we will only need a string indicator and a stop button. For the block diagram, we will go back to the functions palette and choose the reader palette. Here, we will place the simple create reader, read, and release reader VIs. Once we have these VIs in the block diagram, place a while loop around the read VI. This will be the continuously running portion of our code. We also need an OR primitive for flow control. Wiring the air out of the read and the stop terminal to the inputs of the OR primitive and the output of the stop terminal will allow a program to stop if there's an error, error or if the user clicks the stop button. Timing of the loop will be handled by using the read as a blocking function call with a timeout. At this point, we can connect the toolkit VIs. We're using shift registers for the reference and error wires as best practice. In order to properly configure the simple reader, we will need three pieces of information. The first is the domain, which in this case will be zero. The second is the topic name, which will be data. And the third will be the type data type to read. For our hello world example, we will use a string. We will be performing additional configuration of the read VI. First, we will set the read mode to blocking. Second, we will add a blocking timeout of one second. And third, we will specify that we only want new samples. In order to specify the data type for the read VI, we simply need to make the polymorphic selector visible and select string.
At this point, we can wire the data output to the string terminal and add a simple error handler to complete the VI. Save. Now we can run our publisher and run our subscriber and we can see the same text showing up in both. Admittedly, this is a simple example, but it demonstrates how simple messages can be sent between two programs. Feel free to run the code on two different computers within the same subnet or between a, between a text-based language such as, such as Python and LabVIEW. This simple code can be built upon to add an easy layer of data sharing between multiple parts of your application. Future videos will show how to use more complex data types and how to use quality of service settings to fine tune how data moves through your system.